Yo, what's up, Internet's Game Not Playing, and welcome to another episode of Karima. Now, actually, my file corrupted last time, so I only got some of the match against Chelsea. You got up to 4 1 down, it ended 5 2. It's a disappointing result. We then went on to play uh, West Ham, which won 1 0. Mesut Ozil getting the goal, and then in the third match, played Crystal Palace and actually lost. 1-0. This is the team we've got now. We've got Sanchez, Welbeck, Oxley, chamberlain Rene Adelaide, Meza Ozil, Zaka, Monreal, Koscielny, De Vries, who I actually brought in the last episode, but as I've said, it corrupted, and I brought him in because Murtasaka got injured. A key player for me, I really liked using him for seven months, guys. Okay, and the right back is Chambers. We've got in goal, Petr Cech. We're playing three games today. We've got a Capital One Cup against... Uh, Swansea and then a league match against Newcastle. So let's get into this game versus Liverpool. It's a big game. We should win it. Let's get into it. Okay, so there is our team. It's looking really nice, really solid. I'm liking the look of this team. It probably isn't what I'd usually consider my starting 11, but I think it might work in this game. I'm hoping it will. Let's get involved. Let's see what Liverpool's team looks like. Okay, I see three strikers. Ings, Sturridge, and Menteke right up front. Look at that. That's a strong team. It's a very strong team, but their defence is obviously quite weak, so we can hopefully get in the cracks there and try and win this game. It's a nice pass. Granite. Over to Monreal. Back to Zaka. Right then, Zaka. Ball roll. Zaka. Still going, Zaka. 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 Ball across. Oh, so close. Offside. How has he saved that? Minule, in there was no way in real life Minule would ever save that. He is awful, but somehow he's managed to pull off some incredible saves. What a run from Zaka. And then so close to a finish by Oxley chamberlain And now they could be on the attack, but no, Stefan was the top quality defending. Oh my god, I genuinely... I feel like Per should have got ahead on that. Oh, we're not having a good day at all. Christian Menteke, he doesn't deserve. Look at this. Okay, so Ings passed it over there. Some Somehow. I'm really confused to how that went in. I, it looked so trippy on the camera. I just couldn't get my head around it. And now I've lost points. And then, of course, that's gonna, that is a waste. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. That should have been a goal. And then this game gets there. Chambers, back to Oxlade, back into Mesut, but it failed, because no one can pass, no one can pass, oh my god, it's offside, I was about, I just, I cannot deal with this, it's offside, thank god, I cannot deal with this awful distribution, taking it around him, Hector Bellerin's playing centre back, what is wrong with the lad, lovely little Burkamp, was that a Burkamp flick? And now we've given it away, and what are we doing? What is this play? I'm really confused. Koscielny's just Burkamp flicks Christian Menteke, and they're on the attack, and we're going to lose. We've lost. Again. That's an absolute shambles. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell is wrong with my defence? Dejan Lovren. Dejan Lovren is scoring against Arsenal. Are you actually joking? Dejan Lovren. Dejan Lovren. I'm... Nah. You know what? That is absolute... Dejan Dejan Lovren. Okay, so after that awful performance, we're going to shake up the team a lot. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so this is a team we're going with. It's kind of a second team. We've got Fisher, Fekir, uh, Walcott, Kazola, Ramsey, Coquelin, Gibbs, Gabriel, De Vrij, Tafari, Moore, and Czech in net. And there is our team laid out for you. It looks pretty solid, even though it is a second team. And I feel proud that that can be our second team. But if it isn't going to perform, what's the point of having one? Like, 
And here is the Swansea City team. We've got Fabianski on the bench. I don't want to be playing him. Adair, Sigurdsson, Ayu, Barrow, Cork, Shelby, Taylor, Bartley, Fernandez, Rangel. A few players that I haven't seen being used a lot. I certainly don't recognise a couple of names. So hopefully they're not going to play that well. Hopefully not. To Tafari. Tafari Moore is actually... I felt already is the best right back we've had playing. Look at that as he shrugs off the defender. Gets into Victor Fisher. Play around to Stanley Cazor again. Into Fisher. 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 And it's all come from Safari Moore. Safari Moore is my starting right back. And he's 59 right. That's it. That is it. He is brilliant. Safari and Fisher with his first goal for the club. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen Fisher be getting signed either. I'm so pleased with that. Gets it into... Oh, this is beautiful play. Into Santi. Drags it back for Fisher. Fisher, left foot. Posting in. Past the 36-year-old goalkeeper. Bang. We are going... We're going all the way. We're going to win this. I don't care what people say. Fantastic. Fantastic play. Fantastic build-up. Fantastic goal. Right, do I want to cross this one in now? I will. I'll put a bit of power on it because I see Gabriel at the back. That's... It was Oh my god! Are you mad? Okay. So, wait. Was that even... It was Fekir. Fekir scored a header. What a goal! What a goal for your first goal for a club. Look at this. Boom. I'm blown away. I don't know what to say, guys. That's incredible. Incredible. Oh, Ramsey. Gonna play that ball to Nabil. Oh, Nabil's done him. Go on, Nabil. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You have that. Go on, Go on, Fisher. Bring it back. Into Nabil. Hit that, Nabil. Oh, what a strike. What a strike from Nabil Fekir. What a strike. 3 0. That's a great win to get that confidence back up. Ramsey goes chasing. Rangel's stunned. I mean, what play? Nabil just does him. Pass it into Fisher, who this is his. He's created two goals. And it's a fantastic try. I told you Nabil Fekir was a good buy. And it proves it there. With two goals for him. Fisher gets a goal and an assist. We're 3-0 up. We're progressing in the Capital One Cup. Fekir's going to try and cut back inside. is on the edge of the box now. is tackled and fouled. This could be a chance to get a fourth goal. Especially with the players we've got on the field. I can see a nice free kick coming out here. Right. There we go. I know hit that boom in oh it hit the crossbar very close but we were almost falling up and with another fantastic goal what fantastic goals we have seen in this match great build-up play and a great goal from uh, Fisher a fantastic header from Fekir and an absolute banger from Fekir in the 84th minute as well and that's full time 3-0 fantastic win I feel like I feel far more confident in this team than I did with any other team I've played with. So this actually could be the team I use for most games, which is interesting actually, because there's not a lot of starters in it. Okay guys, well this is a big news and this is probably our final deal of the game. Martin Odegaard, Cam, 16 years of age, coming into Arsenal. He's the kind of player we want, and we're actually going to stick him into our training system right now. Okay, so this is the team we're taking into the match against Newcastle. We've got Sanchez, Fekir, Walcott, Ramsey, Odegaard, Coquelin, Gibbs, Gabriel, De Vrij, but Tafari, Moyes is fantastic, and Czech is a pretty solid team. Some changes from the Capital One Cup, but not many, and I really want to get a win just to boost my hopes for this team. And this is the team, boys. We've got Wijnaldum at CDN, that looks like, which is a little bit odd. Papi Cisse is looking at it. It's actually, it's actually quite a weak team. Weaker than I was expecting, but hey, who knows? Maybe they don't want to win this match. Well, Sanchez, he's properly going for it now. Gibbs, try and get involved. Oh, no, you've been done, Gibbs. You've been done. You've been done. Gabriel, get involved.
I have lost all confidence in my team. Why can't we go a game without conceding in the Premier League? We've conceded in every game in the Premier League but one. And it's in the first half as well after just four minutes played and it's all because of Kieran Gibbs doing that whole I'm going to dedicate myself so hard right now. Okay, well it's half time and it's not been very good actually. Just, it's been alright. But that beginning, the beginning of that half was just straight from the cook-off basically and they were 1-0 up. So we've been dominating apart from that though, that apart from that beginning. And here's Sanchez. Sanchez, speaking of straight from the kickoff, Sanchez is still going. He's turned him. Sanchez! Sanchez! Wow, he's had the ball taken away from him at the last possible second that he could have it could have happened. Oh but Martin. Martin's got the ball now, he's going to put it into Sanchez, bang, 1-0, fantastic goal from Alexis Sanchez, fantastic, and I believe Odegaard gets an assist, great tackle, and then just puts it in the middle, unmarked, boom, lovely finish, lovely goal, 1-0, let's get a win, oh no, Tafari Moore's been left in the dust, De Vries been done, oh my god, what a save! That was godlike. I'm sorry. I need. I'm gonna make some trans. I'm gonna make some uh, substitutions, and then I'm just gonna. What? How? What? An absolute incredible. That's like. That was Neuer quality save. A weaker team. Uh, I didn't mind that actually. I didn't mind that at all. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Oh, and there we go, Aubameyang in the last opportunity has left for Manchester United for 35 million. So let's see who people have brought in. They've brought, Bournemouth have brought in Michi, which is not bad. Uh, Chelsea haven't brought anyone really big. They've got rid of Jednak, Crystal Palace, obviously Everton bringing in Giroud, Zambra uh, Zambrano and Dede in there. So that will be all for this episode thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen and i will see you later